Yo, what's going on guys? We are playing the friendliest champion on the rift, Ivan, in the jungle. He just got buffed, so he's fresh off the bow in, uh, I think, 12.20 or whatever patch we're up to. Um, anyway, he just got buffed on his E, his clear speed, and his R. So, quite substantial buffs. His win rate went up by like 2.5%, I think, um, which is pretty, pretty crazy for Ivan. Um, I'm running a cheese route, so I'm going to invade... Uh, apparently Rel's red. I'm best in a Rel jungle. Never seen that before, but first time for everything. Um, so we're going to Q to the red buff. And smite it. And it's that easy. That's how you steal red on Ivan. Um, if it wasn't a Darius, potentially we could gank level 2 there. Um, we don't really want to show on the map with red buff. Because then Rel's definitely going to know we started there. Um, so next point you want to go E and we're doing this clear a little bit differently because we did a invade clear but essentially we're just going to full clear down so we can chuck our Q out make sure you Q in between camps oh I accidentally cancelled that somehow go down grab our wolves no wolves we're not playing fetch now so if you've never played Ivan before, you have to start harvesting your camps and they take about 38 seconds rank 1 um, to spawn and then you can go back and harvest them. Hello? I don't, why can't I harvest this? Okay. I, I don't know if they changed that but you actually have to click on the raptor. I literally thought I'd DC'd then. We haven't got blue buffs so we are running out of mana so Ivan takes health and mana to charm his camps. So we're just going to wait. We need 141 mana, so it's just going to be a little bit here. We're just going to smite that and then move back up to our top side camps. We don't have enough health or mana to get the bottom camp um, because we cheesed Rel's red buff. So we're going to go back to our blue buff before that gets stolen. We're going to start popping our refills. So likely Rel is going to come over here, but we're going to go back down to bot side. And we'll get bot side scuttle. Because we know Rel started bot side, so we're not going to get contested on that scuttle. Hmm. Now, where did I my... So doing this will actually get you a slower level 4, but it's going to put Rel behind. Um, she's not even going to hit level 4 off a of full clear now. Full health, full mana. And now we'll run out to grab scuttle. Senna's looking gankable down there. We want to max out E next. Yeah, both mid and bot are kind of shoved in at the moment. Yo, what's going on guys? We are playing the Trundle in the jungle up against a Volley Bear. Yeah, so... I'm just going to wait for this scuttle or just smite it. I'll go down, I'll prep my bottom camp and then I'll respawn. Oop. Looks like Rel's going mid, so I'll go here. What we want to try and do is just try and shield the Haimi. Got the real flash when our stun came out, so that's good enough. I think we're back there. Rel still level four. We're eight CS up on her, so that's a good start from us. So she bought hex flash for whatever reason. First boots, you either want to go Mobies or Lucidities. Um, I'm a massive fan of Mobies on Ivan. You can go Lucidities more for team fighting, and uh, Mobies is more for kind of roaming, ganking. So Rel's heading back into a top side. We've seen that. We're going to go for our bot side camp now. We only got one camp up. I haven't cleared so quickly that basically you just want to start ganking now and be on the map. Could potentially gank this Tarm, but I mean, we only have a Lux down here at the moment, so... Class is still a little bit off. I imagine Senna's coming back to lane. Probably don't want to do that. We have our smite charge up, so we can steal a camp off Rel. Definitely a great option when you're playing Ivan, just to steal a camp. I know she started bot side, so this is definitely going to be up. And it's that easy just to steal a camp. Hmm. 
Kaisa's is really trying to bait for us. I'm not sure if we. Oh, we almost got the center there. The reason why we're chucking bushes down, Ivan gets extra damage when he's been in the bush. Um, so your auto attacks are going to chunk. I think Ivan with double buffs level 3 has one of the highest base damage auto attacks in the game. Because uh, he gets AP with his auto attacks as well. It's quite crazy. Looks like Senna had the back. She was pretty much one shot there. We'll grab our Raptor Camp. So you actually have to click on the monster. You can't just kind of click in the vicinity of the circle. I was trying to do that before. I literally thought I AFK. Yeah, this Heimendinger is just kind of shoving him. I guess he's doing what he does best. We'll prep this. Rel's blue buffs up, but we don't have smite to get it. We're going to try and save this guy. We'll get the shield on him. Stun. Get in the bush and we'll auto the rail. Look at that auto chunking. I mean... We did have the Heimendinger turrets as well, which was good. Um, but nonetheless, those autos were chunking. So I think it does... I'm not sure where it says the auto attacks, but I think it's in W. Yeah, so an additional 36 AP for each auto attack, which is huge. So we're already doing a 62 plus 36. It's close to 100. I imagine Rel's going to come down here. I really want to just get this. So we spawn our camps quicker and quicker um, as you level up. So we're on 30 seconds now. 30 second harvest. We have our smite up though. That's all we're waiting for. Red buff's coming up. We can go back for that. Or we can gank bot. Either either. We'll start harvesting that red buff. I haven't really been playing around top, um, but there hasn't been much going on there. I don't know why I can't move the names around. Oh, there we go. Don't really want to get seen here. Lanes aren't that gankable, but we are finding a little bit of value. We're putting pressure on the map. We're putting rail behind at the very least. Yeah, we can get drag. Not sure where this other team's gone. We'll shield ourselves. We want to go close enough so the shield bursts on the dragon. And we'll just stay in the bush. Especially when we're taking dragons. The enemy team doesn't know how many people are here. She can't fight this. So with Ivan's stun, if I stunned her, classic can auto attack and then jump to her. Um, which is super OP as well. So just similarly, like you jump to your camps, your team can also jump to your stun. Apparently not through the wall. But... I'm going to go topside now. We're going to try our luck with Darius. Uh, a little bit of a harder gank for us. But we do have Daisy now, so it makes it gankable. Hopefully we haven't lost our topside. Still here. So people can get your blue and red, so Ivan spawns two buffs. Uh, it's, it's boarded, we're just going to go straight for him. Hit that. He's going to try and turn, it's a big mistake. We almost got the knock up. Made a slight mistake there, we could have killed him. We should have shielded either ourselves or Daisy there. Um, that would have guaranteed the kill because each time the shield explodes, it does slow the target. Rel's down bot, we can see that. We'll go straight for Herald. We'll make Daisy tank. Daisy's going to despawn anyway. You can see on the timer, she's only got about 15 seconds left. Rank 1 Daisy's not great. Rank 2 and 3 Daisy's a lot faster, a lot faster auto attack speed. Can do some crazy things in team fights. You can get whole team knockups with Daisy. It's quite cool. We'll shield Daisy rather than herself. She's literally more valuable than Ivan.
Unfortunate, Jaime died mid there, um, but this has only got two plates, so it'd be rude not to chuck Harold. Would have ideally liked Jaime to get the gold as well. Um, but yeah, it's more important to get the first turret. Oh, this actually wasn't even first turret. I didn't realize Ashkan got the first turret. We'll leave now. We're sitting on... We're literally sitting on items, so... We'll go ahead and back. Got Daisy up in five seconds. And what we want to go for is Moonstar Renewer. That's basically your go-to item. Um, and then next, we might go for Zonya's. A little bit of AP and... Oh, I didn't want to go into debt. For that... I'll just buy a Cloth Armor. Generally, you only want to go in debt. Um when you're finishing an item or hitting a power spike. Otherwise, it's not worth you spending 50 extra gold for nothing. The cleverness of always surprises me. Grab another point in our queue. Looks like Rel's top. We'll try and do something bot now. We'll go into our jungle, or we can potentially dive the tarm. Uh, it is a little bit hard to dive a time, I must say. Oh, okay. Stun the tarm. Oh, I was trying to shield the Kaisa, but she ran like underneath me then. We got her out with our stun anyway. We got eight seconds on our smite. We're going to go take this blue buff again. Time we charm this, should be ready to go. As soon as we hit a stun, we can jump to them and then chuck Daisy. We'll just walk out now. Point and click stun. Get the E down. Mm. I mean, not the best, but do get the job done. We can probably even dive them if they choose to stay here. Direct Daisy to the turret. Bye, Daisy. Apparently Daisy was tanking that. I still got gold from two plates though, which is semi-decent. Start hitting our refills. Jaime's in trouble. I think he's just dead, yeah. That's unfortunate. We'll grab... Dragon. That creature is not a bitch. It's like Ashkan's coming. He's 1 0. I guess we can take this. Go in the bush for extra damage. We'll shield ourselves. Get the scuttle. I'm gonna smite that. Looks like someone's there. We'll go back to our red buff now. Q over. Ooh, someone take this. Oh, I just missed it. So our camps are taking 24 seconds to mature now. We'll just do a whole uh, bot side clear. You never really just want to stand around waiting for the bar um, to fully load. You really just want to do a whole side if you're going to wait around for one camp. You get much more value. Jump back over. Grab another point now, E. I mean, ideally when you play an Ivan, you do want a frontline so you can stand behind them, shield them. Um, Daisy can somewhat act as a frontline. But yeah, while our team's doing good, we might just do a full clear. It's going to give us better value than standing kind of under turret. We put Rel really far behind, which is good. 
Ivan can often do that just by taking simple buffs. The, the speed that you can take the camps and just be there when they spawn just puts the enemy jungler so far behind. So Askan obviously got my red for free then because Ivan spawns two buffs. So he can come and collect my blue now as well. Most players don't realize that. He got two free buffs and I got the buffs as well. So that's why Ivan's OP. Basically you get literally double the buffs on your team. All right, we'll head in and look to start team fighting. We're almost on second item. At 16 minutes, it's relatively good. This looks like a juicy team fight for Ivan. Nice. Put the bush down. I'm gonna shield the Ashkan. Just order the Darius, and Ashkan gets a triple. Wow, well played. Jump in the bush. And they forfeited, guys. That's GG's. Didn't really get to play out that game too much. Let me know if you want a part two in the comments. Um, my name's Jellybird, and I'll catch you next time. Cheers.